peculiar pattern we see here. Use very I can use various things we've talked about all semester to understand more this kind of peculiar pattern we see here in regarding the two sides of the Andes Mountains. So inside this yellow box, if I go in and I zoom in, you can see a clear difference between above that yellow dashed line and below it. Below the yellow dashed line, a little bit more obvious, uh, but along the left side or the western side of the Andes Mountains, it's green and lush. And then thus on the other side of the Andes Mountains, which is showcased that kind of that snow-capped white linear uh, vertical feature, on the right side or the eastern side, it's much drier. We can see that by the brown colors. You then go above the yellow line and you can see a different pattern on one side. Uh, on the left side or the west side, it's now dry, uh, whereas on the east side or the right side of the Andes Mountains, that rugged feature that goes right through the western backbone of South America, it's much more lush and green. Key to understanding that are predominant wind patterns. And so the predominant wind patterns north of that yellow line are from east to west. And thus it brings warm, moist air from the Atlantic Ocean and it comes across the Brazilian uh, area, across the Amazon, moves itself across most, most of the continent uh, of South America, dumps a lot of rain, and then comes across the Andes Mountains from the eastern side and then dumps a lot of its rain and that air continues on and thus we have a rain shadow on the western side of the Andes Mountains. You go south of that yellow dashed line or to you know, below it uh, and then there we have a different pattern. The pattern is where we go from west to east. And so thus we have a wet side of the mountain on the western side and a rain shadow on the eastern side of the Andes Mountains. And so this all relates to the predominant wind patterns, something I really didn't talk too much about this semester, but we see this in terms of understanding a little bit more as far as why we have rain shadows on different sides of the Andes Mountains contingent on where in terms of latitude we're located.